Hey folks, so in addition to the battle that I'm posting on my channel today, I've also got a battle up on Pokebox 5. It's a UU battle, it's a good battle, you should go check it out. Hey there folks, it's Antar and I've got a new battle for you today against Cobra Tail. It's a doubles battle because he PM'd me through YouTube asking for a doubles battle and at this point I've stopped telling people yeah I do UU doubles because there's no such thing as UU doubles. The tiers are designed for singles. Uh, tiers are not designed to be to tell you this Pokemon is better than this Pokemon in all forms of Pokemon combat. It's only saying this Pokemon is better than this Pokemon or is used more than this Pokemon in OU singles. Uh, so anyway, down to the actual battle. His po his team is almost exclusively what I would call top tier Pokemon. My Pokemon tend to be lower tier, but I figured it's okay. I've gone against teams like this before, and I've done all right. So I figured, eh, it's okay, whatever. Anyway, he fakes out my Glade first turn. I was gonna go ahead and drain punch that derp, that freaking uh, why am I blanking on his name? Scrafty. I do manage to set up my Trick Room, and that's excellent, but I'm going to have to call my uh, Gallade back because because that stupid Steadfast, its speed is boosted. I would totally swap it out for Justified now that Justified is legal, but the problem is then I don't get Fire Punch. Um, maybe I can run a set without Fire Punch, but I feel like uh, there's too much I would have to sacrifice. But anyway, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and try to take out that freaking Whimsicott, which I figure is going to be a huge thorn in my side. His derp goes ahead and crunches my Tachikoma, which I brought in on the Switch, and it survived with 153 HP, and I'm thinking, okay, that's okay, that's alright. Uh, I'm not sure who's going to be faster, because I'm not sure whether his um, Scrafty is EV'd for speed. If it's EV'd for speed, then my Tachikoma will be slower. Otherwise, yeah. So anyway, doing some switching here. We both do some switching. Uh, my opponent goes ahead and sends out... Uh, Hydreigon. I'm thinking that's excellent because I'm going to use Blizzard. Unfortunately, my opponent is slower than me and goes ahead and uses Drain Punch and takes out my Tachikoma, which is weak to it, and that's awful because now he gets the Moxie boost, and this is just not going well for me at all. I'm going to go ahead and send Mikhail, my Gallade, back out because I can hit him for a super effective Drain Punch, and actually both of his Pokemon are weak to Drain Punch. Derp goes ahead and uses Ice Punch against my Tangrowth, and I'm really hoping that I can survive a plus one Ice Punch, considering I'm not, it is a Tangrowth, and Tangrowths are incredibly bulky physically, even though mine has no defense investment to speak of, and also practically no HP investment. I do manage to put his Scrafty to sleep, which is excellent, and I'm going to go ahead and go for the Drain Punch against his Hydreigon, which for some reason I decided is a bigger threat. And I don't take it out, and I'm like, oh, seriously? You couldn't... I'm... Uh, whatever. I'm, I'm complaining a lot, but he survives with just a sliver of HP, and you'll see just how small of a sliver that is in a second. Um, my opponent is going to go ahead and go for the Dark Pulse. <laughs> if only I had justified, it would be so great. Uh, and it is going to take itself out with the Life Orb Recoil, so that's, that's okay. Um, I don't have to worry about that Hydreigon anymore. My opponent's going to go ahead and send out Chandelure, and here I should have just gone for the Shadow Sneak to take out that Chandelure, but I was thinking, eh, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, and really, it's that Scrafty that I want dead. Um, so Derp is fast asleep, and I'm thinking actually that I should be able to outslow his... Outslow, I like that. Uh, outslow his Chandelure, but I guess he's running... Um, I mean, either that was a speed tie, and he's running zero speed, or he's running zero speed IVs as well, or a minus speed nature. Um, my Gallade is Adamant uh, 31, or I think it's Adamant Flawless, um, maybe not special attack, I'd have to look that up, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, the Trick Room ends at this point, but then I realize, you know, if his Pokemon are actually EV trained for Trick Room, which it looks like they are, I might be better off not going for the Trick Room again. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Scald against a Chandelure and really hope that it's going to take it out. Uh, it Unfortunately, it's just going to be a two-hit KO. His Chandelure is going to go ahead and go for another Heat Wave, uh, but both my Pokemon are pretty specially defensive, so I figure I should be okay, and as long as his Burp stays asleep, I should be okay. But no, it wakes up. It's going to go for the Crunch. Uh, luckily, it is against um, my brain, um, my... Musharna, and if I have to lose a Pokemon right now, I'd rather it be that one, because Angler is really going to be the superior Pokemon for taking out his Chandelure, which is doing massive damage to my team. Angler's going to take some more burn damage, and that's not great, but, you know, eh, whatever. 
Uh, I'm still going ahead and send Kazulu back out, thinking that I actually might be faster than both of his Pokemon. So I'm going to go ahead and scald his uh, Chandelure, go ahead and take it out, and that's excellent. Now I don't have to worry about it anymore, and my Kazulu is safe from a Heat Wave. Uh, Kazulu is going to go for the Power Whip here. His Derp avoids the attack. I'm like, <laughs> Derp is going to go ahead and... Uh, drain punch me. Doesn't he's back up to full HP? He's been back up to full HP. I think. I don't think he ever lost full HP. Uh, to be honest, Hatterack is going to come out now, and I'm just really hoping that I can take out this Scrafty at some point in my life. My opponent is going to go ahead and send out Reuniclus here, but I know it's going to be slow, so I'm not really fearing too much from it at this point. Going to go ahead and go for the Sleep Powder here. It is going to put his Dorp to sleep. And that is going to be excellent, so now I'm not going to have to worry about it for at least one turn. Hatterack is going to go ahead and go for the Earthquake. Um, uh, you know, yeah, I'm hitting both of my po my I'm hitting my Kazulu as well. But it resisted. It's all good. But no! Oh my god! He goes for the Trick Room now, realizing that both of his Pokemon... Well, not actually both of his Pokemon. It's actually a mixed bag for him because Hatterack is going to be slower than both of his Pokemon because it has the, not the Iron Ball, the Power Weight, which has its speed. So I go for the Rock Slide here, hoping to get the Flinch Hacks. Uh, I do get some Hacks here. I get the, um, yeah, so, get no uh, Flinch Hacks, but I do get the, some Miss Hacks with the Focus Blast. So that's better than nothing. Ice Punch, at this range, is going to be able to take out my Kazulu, and his Derp is now at plus three. I think all the kills in this battle have been thanks to his derp. Uh, it's called a Scrafty, I don't know why I'm calling it derp other than that's its nickname. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the rock slide this next turn. Oh, is this my last Pokemon? Crap! So I guess not all the kills have been thanks to derp. But yeah, I'm down to my last Pokemon. I am getting some awfully nice hacks, but it's not gonna do me too much good for much longer. I know I can't get too much hacks too much longer, and so I keep going for the rock slide just hoping that I can survive. Um, just a little bit longer, hopefully get at least one more KO. Uh, his Focus Blast is going to hit this turn, but I do have Sturdy this, uh, this generation on my Hatterack, so I know that I can survive with, well, 1 HP, but I'm just hoping that I can get the Flinch Hacks against his Derp, and, it, yeah, so I do get the Flinch Hacks against his Derp, and I live another day. I actually survived that Focus Blast with 10 HP, yeah. Uh, Sturdy is not the most useful ability on Steelix. I mean, it, yes, it gives you some peace of mind, but it's really hard to Oko a Steelix. So here's the end of the battle. I get Psychics, and I have been completely and totally swept. I think I might have gotten two, two KOs against this guy. Um, but yeah, I really should take the opportunity, see if there are there's enough usage in the Smogon and PO servers to try to generate tiers for... Uh, doubles, because that would be great. It would be great to have, you know, more even battles, other than just by saying, hey, let's just do VGC 2012. But yeah, so hope you enjoyed that, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.